Good morning, everyone. Everybody's been asking how I make my homemade biscuits. So, how about a tutorial? Um, so, I use two cups of self-rising flour, and I put them in my sifter like my grandmother used to have. And the sifting just gets any clump clumps of flour out that you would have. Um, I don't level it off. I eyeball everything, y'all. Um, so any clumps in the flour you would have, this just sifts them out and leaves them in the sifter for um, you to just throw in the trash. You don't have to sift. You can just go straight into into um, putting your flour in your bowl. So we didn't have any clumps anyway, so it would've been fine. I think it's more for when I use like a all-purpose flour where you're um, putting your bacon soap, not bacon soap, your bacon powder and items in there. You're also gonna need a tablespoon of sugar. put my butter in the freezer uh, when I decide I'm going to make biscuits uh, to get it colder because the butter melts really fast when you start going in with your hands and kneading. So I put it in the freezer and I also do another weird thing. <laughs> I grate it with a cheese grater. So I'm going to get my butter really fast. Self-rising flour only calls for four tablespoons. When I make it with all-purpose flour, I use a whole stick of butter. <laughs> but that's not what I'm using today because I'm trying to give y'all the easy recipe with less, um, less ingredients. I'm just going to grate this in. It also cuts it up so it mixes better. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more everywhere when I grate it versus when I um, just cut it up in chunks. Good morning, buddy. I'm making y'all gravy biscuits. recipes just say, you know, cut it, the butter in chunks and work it in with your, um, your utensil. So then I'm just going to work this in. And this cuts too, I know, like, uh, it's probably an extra step I don't have to do. I just like to do it. I get my hands really gross um, from the batter. I'm going to make a little well and I'm going to grease my pan that I'm going to be using. I just use some Crisco to grease around the pan. We're not trying to be super healthy today. I also cook mine in a skillet. Give me two seconds. Out really fast. I'm one of those weirdos. Every time I use a pot or 
pan, even though it's been in the cabinet, I'll wash it again, just in case. And I also take a paper towel to do this with because I don't want to get my hands all yucko. No grease. You can just use a cookie sheet. You don't have to use a skillet. I just, I'm old school. If you know me, you know I'm old school. All right, so that's complete. We have virtual school in a few minutes, so I'm trying to hustle it through. Please go get Walker up so y'all can start your breakfast. All right. So, a cup of milk. It is not buttermilk. It's whole milk. Actually, it's not even whole milk today because I didn't have any whole milk. I actually do this with my hands. I don't know why. And I start in the middle and I just do like this. Um, so, I used cream and 2% milk because I don't have any whole milk. We don't drink whole milk here. I haven't been out to the store in days, so I didn't have any buttermilk. I could have made some buttermilk, you know, with lemon juice, but still again, my milk is not whole milk. So I do have heavy whipping cream because we make our own butter and uh, we keep it on hand to do that. So it should be sticky. It should not be wet, but it should be sticky like this. All right. So, I am going to take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it down here. Spread it out. And then I am going to dump my dough onto it. And so I don't use a rolling pin. Um, I just mash it out with my hands. Why dirty up another utensil? <laughs> you also don't want to twist your cookie cutter. You want to just... Um, Put it straight down and pull it out. If you don't have a cookie cutter, use a mason jar. You don't have to have fancy tools to make biscuits. All right. I'll try to do them about a little bit more than a quarter of an inch thick. So when we were in Ohio a couple weeks ago uh, for our anniversary, my husband and I went to Amish country and they were having a yard sale um, across from Lehman's. And I got this, this biscuit cutter because I don't have a biscuit cutter. So you're going to go straight down. So if you um, twist, you're sealing that flour so it can't rise. So straight down and up. My oven is done preheating. I preheated to 450. Um, and I'll cook them for about 20 minutes. See, this is still sticky right here. So it needs more flour. So you just pull some of that flour over from the side in and knead it one time. So I have filled my skillet now. 
and I am, um, I have extra, <laughs> I could make more biscuits, but I usually just put these dough balls in the fridge, and then when I make, um, chicken bok pie, or if I make, want to make like a little fried pie or so, apple pie or something, like I already have dough, so you can freeze dough, um, so that's probably what I'll do with the success, because it's just the boys eating this today, I'm on Weight Watchers, so I don't want to. I don't want to eat it. So we'll come back as soon as these are done cooking and I will show you what they look like. So the biscuits just came out of the oven. They're nice and flaky, but not crumbly. And then I made the boys some gravy, uh, sausage gravy biscuits to go with, or sausage gravy to go with their biscuits. So that is my tutorial, how to make, um, oh, I sounded crazy, tutorial. That is my tutorial of how I make my homemade biscuits.